Okay, um, in the next few videos we're going to have a look at what uh, I'd probably call sort of intermediate modeling uh, in Revit. Um, in this video particularly we're going to have a look at editing um, the profile at a wall which is quite a useful tool. Um, so let's just go to ground floor. Now let's say, um, so editing a wall profile, um, what that does is instead of just drawing a rectangular wall you're actually able to cut shapes out of it or make it look um, you know, different than a, a rectangle. So let's say um, that I go ahead and draw a, a retaining wall. Okay, So this can be a wall on your house, it can be a fence, you know, it could be any type of wall that you wanted but just for the purpose of, of this illustration I'm going to draw a retaining wall. You can see I've still got my visibility settings from before. So I can just clear all them just so we're back to normal. Okay so if we have a look in 3D okay we can see that wall there, that retaining wall uh, that we were looking at. Now editing a wall profile, okay, so to edit a wall profile um, either do it in your 3D view or in the, the elevation view that um, refers to that wall. So let's do it in north elevation. Alright, so here's our wall that we were talking about. Now up the top here in the ribbon bar we can see edit profile. Now when I click on that you see that it goes into sketch mode. So this is the same sketch mode from um, you know, drawing a floor or drawing a roof. And so at the moment, this pink line that we're seeing is the perimeter of the wall. Now, if I want to go ahead and change that, I play around with these draw tools here, which are the same again as you've seen in um, your drawing floor, drawing roof, um, sketch mode. So let's go ahead and we're just going to play around. I'm just going to cut some shapes out, anything. Um, just for the purpose of this illustration. So at the moment I'm just picking lines. Now what you've got to remember also is that this won't work. It'll come up with an error because um, I can only have one line, right? And you can see they're crossing over here and there's uh, intersection here. So if you remember, we'll go back to our split tool. Let's split it there, split it there. And then we're going to go and use our trim tool, TR, and trim all these lines nice and neatly to each other. So if I finished that at the moment you can see that I've got I've actually cut a couple of holes in the profile of my wall. So having a look at 3D you can see all of a sudden the wall starts to open up and you can start creating some sort of amazing shapes. So if I you know I might do that in a house if I wanted an opening um, without having to put in a window etc. Um, you can also edit it from 3D view. So let's have a look here. That's. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a look here. See if we can't make some weird looking wall. Just sort of for this purpose. Okay, so I'll delete that. Uh, that's not going to work because they're crossing over. There we go. Okay, so I finished that wall, and you can see once again it's made some um, outrageous sort of shape in that wall. So that's editing a wall profile. Now if I wanted to um, take it back to what the wall was originally, I just hit reset profile up in the ribbon bar, and it'll take back all those changes. So I'll leave that one at the moment. So I'll go ahead and turn back on these visibility settings that I have. Okay, and you can start to see you know, that you can actually start to do some quite intricate modeling um, in Revit. Okay.